how to use wave accounting software hey guys welcome back today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with the wave accounting software so let's get into it now wave accounting software is a free to use and easy to manage software that allows you to manage all of your business's finances or even your personal finances for that matter with a easy and convenient tool that allows you invoicing payments accounting payroll and also have advisors to help and assist you in using this tool to optimize the performance of your business now the best part about using wave is that invoicing and accounting on this platform is available for free and the payment system and payroll system can be used with a plan so you can subscribe to it monthly for payroll and pay per use for payments so let's get into the wave accounting software now to get started all you have to do is sign up with your email address or you can even sign up with google so i'm just going to continue on to my account and i will show you guys how you can get started with this tool and the sign up process is very simple you really don't have to uh, go through anything you just put in your email and that is it now once you have created your account you will be able to see this dashboard now you have multiple different workspaces you can create you guys can see i've created a few business spaces but let's create a new business space so it's easier for you guys to understand how a business space works so to create a business space you can just create your business enter the name of your business enter the type of your business as well as the country you're located in and how you want to keep track so if you want to use us dollars or canadian dollars then you also have the type of organization. So if you're the sole owner, if this is a partnership, or if this is a registered corporation. And then once you enter this information, a separate section would be made for each individual business you add. And once you have added your business, let's continue with water company over here. Now, although the uh, accounting tools for all of these are going to be the same, this is just so it's easier for you to set everything up and manage multiple different businesses in one specific area or workspace. So it's just for better categorization. The tools in itself will remain the same. These are not going to be tailored to the industry that you are working in. That is not something that Wave currently provides with its accounting tools. However, it still is an amazing way for basic accounting functions and basic payments payments, invoicing, and much more. So once we get started, uh, let's get started with sales and payments. Now in this section, you have multiple different items. You have estimates, invoices, payment setup, recurring invoices, checkouts, customer statement, customers, and products and services. Now what you want to do is you want to start from the bottom up. So first thing you want to do is go into products and services, and you want to add the products and services that you are providing. So when you are generating invoices, you can simply select the product or service that person has availed and generate the invoice according to how um, many quantities of that product the person has availed or how many times that service has been provided. So you can just click on add product or service, name your service. So let's say it's so we have water pipe maintenance and we can add the description and then add the price and then you can choose to sell this so if this is going to be sold and if this is you know what kind of income account you want to link this to i will explain this later on but uh you guys are going to allow this product to be uh product or service to be added to invoices because i want to be able to uh you know use these to simplify my invoicing process and then you can also add a sales tax so you can click on add new tax and if there are any taxes that are going to be added to the sale of a product or service you want to make sure you add those taxes, the tax rates, the tax number, description as well to make it easier for you to later on file those taxes. So once you have added the item, you can go into the second section of sales and payments, which is your accounts or customers, where you can click on add a customer on the top right and add all the invoicing information that you have. So your billing information, your basic account number, website, customer name, and shipping information. Obviously, if you already have a business running, it's very probable that you have your customer base. So with that pre-existing customer base, you can import from a CSV file and you can easily download your CSV file from your pre-existing database, even if you're using Excel 
you can just go into file on excel on the top left of your screen and then save it as a csv and then upload it over here just to simplify your customers now next up you have your customer statements now what exactly is customer statement uh, you can actually um, send out messages to your customers whenever they have a bill that is pending or due or uh, if there is, uh, you know, whatever uh, outstanding invoices or account activity has been tracked, you can send a statement. So you can click on create statement, click on create statement and, you know, they, this person has no outstanding invoices. There has not been any activity, so it's not going to generate any statement, but you can do that for each individual customer to see which customers have any uh, pre-existing uh, payments that they have not made yet. Now, next up, you have checkouts. Now, this is a new section with Wave where you can accept payments directly from your website, where you can turn on these payments and add the Wave link to your website or, you know, use the payment plugin from Wave and then accept payments directly. Next up, you have recurring invoices. So if you have something like you're providing a monthly service, so you can click on recurring invoice, you can add a customer. So let's say it's this customer, you can add all the uh, information. You can have payment due is going to be within seven days. And then you can add the item, which might be water tank refill that is provided once. And th this is the price. You have our sample 2% tax that is going to be added. And you can click on the footer. You can add your footer information, such as uh, any tax information and a thank you note. It could be your business name, your business information, your LLC, whatever it might be. So you can enter those footnotes as well. And you can also add your uh, business address. Obviously, we're going to add invoice or monthly water payment and then you can add the summary as well. You also have your logo or business name that you can upload over here. Now, once I click on save and continue, I can set up when I want this recurring payment to be sent. So this is the schedule. Let's say I want this to be sent monthly on the second of every month. And I want to create the first invoice on this date. And I want it to not end until I terminate it myself. Then I would click on next. And then you can choose how the customer is going to pay you. So uh, this is going to be your section where you can add your automatic payments and then you have your sending summary. So send to, you can enter the email address. I'll just add my own and you can attach the PDF of the invoice to the email sent to the customer. And once you have seen, you know, this is what our little invoice is going to look like. I will just click on next and you can schedule this simple and easy invoice for your recurring customers. So this is going to be uh, super helpful if you're offering subscription-based services or subscription-based like product subscriptions as well. Then this is super easy to do, especially if you're running somewhat of like a service in the service industry. It can be hard keeping track of all of these things. So it's easier to just to do this uh, over here. Now, next up, you have your purchases. Obviously, you're sending invoices. Uh, a basic invoice is pretty much the same thing. Instead of uh, you setting it up as recurring, you can just add a basic invoice. But if you are making purchases, you can also manage all of your business purchases in this section as well. So if we go into the purchases section, you have bills, vendors, products, and services. So what are the things that you are buying? So you can add a product or service that you are purchasing. So let's say I buy a water supply from somewhere and it costs me 20000 and I buy this. So I'm only going to select buy this. And then let's say this is going to be in a, a part of our purchases, parts, and materials. This is what I buy this for. And now I have this product that I buy and now I have in my bills, I will be able to see the bill that my uh, supplier will send me. And then you have some basic accounting uh, information like your transactions that you have made, a reconciliation section, which basically allows you to manage your money uh, to be able to see how your, uh, you know, how your balance is going. And then you also have bookkeeper options if you are running a larger business and you're not able to keep track of all of your finances, it's best to hire a bookkeeper. Then you have your banking where you're going to link your bank information and you also have payroll reporting and tax filing information taxes are going to vary where you are currently located or where your 
business is established uh, and then you also have just basic payroll which allows you to send pay directly to your employees bank accounts so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video